Andy Ruiz pulls a brilliant psychological mind mental warfare trick on Anthony Joshua ahead of their rematch. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Shout out to Cash App. If you would like to join ESPN Plus, use my link. It does help the channel. Now, I had to talk about this because some people didn't quite get this. And, you know, there's a different level of boxing fans, so leave it to your boy, Boxing Ego. Make sure you guys subscribe. They did the final press conference for Joshua Ruiz in Saudi Arabia. The fight takes place this Saturday. It's mostly a heavyweight card. Uh, the fight on this I'm looking forward to is Michael Hunter versus Povetkin. I want to see how Hunter, formerly a cruiserweight, I think his only loss is to Usyk. You know, and he actually, people sleep on this, but Hunter did a lot better versus Usyk than a lot of guys, you know. But that's a fight I'm looking forward to. And, of course, the main event. This is this is an important fight. Joshua got to win this one, you know, for the sake of match room, the zone and stuff. But Andy Ruiz, I got to explain this because some people didn't get it. He pulled up and he was com he was comfortable and casual. He had a hat on, baseball cap. And he had a Knicks jersey. He had a Knicks jersey. New York Knicks jersey. Very, um, you know, just noticeable. And some people didn't quite understand. They are like, okay, he's in Saudi Arabia. What made him? He's a fan of the Knicks. And people were, like, laughing because, you know, the Knicks ain't necessarily really been the, the great um, team in NBA. But... It's deeper than you guys think. The people who just said that, oh, why has he got the Knicks jersey and that? The reason he wore the Knicks jersey is to psychologically mindfuck and taunt Anthony Joshua. Because you'll show, I'll show you on screen. There was a picture of Andy Ruiz after he won the titles at Madison Square Garden where the first fight took place. And... The New York Knicks, since the you know MSG is their home home court, and that's where the first fight took place. Joshua Ruiz won, where he won the titles. They had for the fight week festivities. They had went to the Knicks game, and the Knicks granted them, you know, a Ruiz jersey and things like that, and a Joshua jersey. So Joshua is being taunted and haunted with the memory of. June 1st that's why Andy Ruiz wore that he didn't wear it because he bro he's from basically he's from LA he's from SoCal Southern California so I'm pretty sure he's not a Knicks fan but he did that because he knows that Joshua will get it some fans didn't pick up on this but I thought that was very clever from team Ruiz Ruiz is not much of a trash talker but I like this I like the gamesmanship and the little subtleties as you guys can see on the screen this is the picture that I was referring to. Andy Ruiz wearing the New York Knicks jersey, the same one that he wore at the final press conference to mess with Joshua's mind. And he and he quoted Nipsey Hussle. He said, all my life, been grinding all my life. Sacrifice, hustle, pay the price, want a slice, got to roll the dice. That's why all my life, I've been grinding all my life. So he quoted the late great Nip, neighborhood Nip, and... That was the, I think, probably the first picture he posted after the knockout, you know, after he was, you know, given the title. So he did that to fuck with Joshua, basically. Very, very clever, clever um, psychological mental warfare. Very Sun Tzu, Art of War-ish, skullduggery. I like it. But I had to clarify that because some people didn't pick up on it. I was actually surprised. But who knows? You know, this fight's in Saudi Arabia. There might attract new audiences and stuff and people might not have been on the first fight to know what went on so i felt it was my duty to kind of break it down some of you guys probably picked up on it right away others who might not be as versed because this is the good thing with a fight like this is it was considered an upset i wasn't really surprised by it but that's just me but i was one of the i was in the minority that felt andy ruiz had a shot to really shocked Joshua and beat him so this
fight in the rematch from the talk from the first fight probably picked up a lot of casual fans and people along the way. So I wanted to give you guys the backstory of why he had a Knicks jersey on in Saudi Arabia as opposed to, you know, the Lakers or any other team. This wasn't just a, a basic fashion choice like, oh, I just feel like going to this press conference with the Saudi Arabia. It looks just like June 1st. And and I think another reason it's brilliant is because, in my personal opinion, and I, I do believe, I haven't talked to Ruiz or anything, but I do believe in the opinion of Team Ruiz, they feel, and myself, they feel like Joshua is mentally weak. And he knows what it means. He knows what it means. So he's just, it's like he's throwing that in your face. He's throwing that in your face and, and, and trying to make you have flashbacks. Like, he's holding all your old belts that you lost. It just looks like the same setup as June 1st. And, you know, Andy Ruiz did a Roy Jones. Y'all must have forgot. If you love what I'm doing, smash the like button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.